Oh, uh, you want the good news first or the bad news? I'm going to give you the good news. Well, today is Saturday, and today has been a great day. It's been a great day, and I hope your Saturday has been great, too. Now, in Ravens news, I ain't been so great. Um, well, first and foremost, Chris Westry, he is out of the game tomorrow. Uh, they are placing him on the COVID-19 list, so he will not play. He has zero chance of playing. Even if tomorrow he tests negative, he cannot play. He won't play. He ain't playing. So no Chris Westry versus the Packers. That is very unfortunate because I was um I was looking forward to him tomorrow to seeing how he would do tomorrow. Because he didn't do bad last week. And th- there were some terrible calls called against him, but he did not do a bad job. Uh, but anyway, um somebody who is in uh is Tony Jefferson. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey big dog, you you just got here, but we need you. So him being familiar with the Ravens defense, that should help. Um, who's going to have the green dot tomorrow? That's a question that a lot of us have been wondering. I would think um, Patrick Queen or Josh Bynes, one of those two. Because it's got to be somebody who's out there on the field a lot. One of those two. You're not going to give it to a cornerback. You're not going to give it to one of your safeties, Brandon Stevens and Geno Stone or Tony Jet. Tony Jet. No, you're not. So I would think either Patrick Queen or Josh Bynes. But hey, what do I know? We'll see tomorrow. Uh, since Chuck Clark is not playing, they said that he did not clear COVID protocol. So he is officially, officially out. There was a chance. There was a small chance, but that chance uh, came and went. Tristan Colon Castillo, he also remains out. So Ravens, they had to do a few calls. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. They had to do a few call-ups. Um, they elevated David Sharp, offensive lineman. Uh, they elevated uh, Joan Smith, offensive lineman. They activated Redmond, who I didn't even know was on their practice squad, but he's an offensive lineman. He's a center. So they have been busy. Uh, Ben Powers is out, so it is officially a full game Ben Cleveland season. Even though last time I believe he was playing in a full game, he had gotten hurt. Uh, And it's not going to be flip-flop, because remember in the beginning of the season, uh, because first it was Ty Phillips. Y'all remember, first Ty Phillips, was he won the starting left guard job. Uh, But then he got hurt in the Raiders game. Uh, so then Ben Cleveland and Ben Powell, they were like flip-flopping them back and forth. It was like the weirdest thing. Uh, but anyway, um, it's Ben Cleveland season officially. Uh, and we just got to hope he does a great job. Let's see how it goes. And hope that Ben Ben Powers, he uh, whatever he has going on gets better too. Uh, because depth, having depth is a nice thing. And I know us as Ravens fans this season, it's just been like, wow. You feel like you got a team full of depth. And then that depth gets just eaten up, literally all season long. Oh, this has been nonstop, nonstop, and it's still going. But Ravens, they gotta keep pushing. Um, all right. So the uh, the secondary tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, Anthony Averett, Jimmy Smith, Jimmy Smith, uh, Tavon Young, uh, Kevon Seymour, and Robert Jackson. Oof, that's our cornerbacks and the, the safeties: Brandon Stevens. Geno Stone, Tony Jefferson, Anthony Levine. Now, I wonder, uh, given Geno Stone and Brandon Stevens, how young and inexperienced they are, I wonder if that increases Tony Jefferson's role, even though he just got back. Anthony Levine's role. I'm just... We'll see. And, you know, tomorrow... Tomorrow is going to be a game where, for Wink, I... For tomorrow's game, I can't hold him. uh, Well, I can if he just has them doing some off-the-wall stuff. Uh, But I can't really hold tomorrow's game against Wink. Because literally, they ran out of pretty much everybody. They they ran out of so many people uh, as far as the secondary. Um, But it is still important that he tries to put them in the best position to succeed. It's very important that he still does that. He has to do that as best as you can. Because it's going to be tough now, but as best as you can. Uh, Ravens even lost a coach, even put a coach on the COVID list. Uh, They said special teams coach T.J. Weiss. 
said he tested positive. So he is also out of the game tomorrow. So Ravens and really NFL and his whole COVID. They're like this, the Ravens COVID, uh, Chuck Clark, Tristan Colon Castillo, uh, Weiss and Chris Westry. That's a small amount compared to a lot of stuff that's been going on around the NFL over the past uh, 48 hours. That's pretty, that's really nothing. Um, and us as Ravens fans, I mean, we so used to so many guys being out every single week anyway. So anyway, um, the time when I'm recording this is 6.22 p.m. So you guys should see this. Depending on how my internet is acting, y'all probably see it around like maybe maybe 6.50, maybe 7. I don't know. We'll see. Um, just a quick rundown of the agenda between tonight, because this ain't the last video for tonight. Sorry, those of y'all that got your notifications turned on and you're like, man, what are all these videos for? For what? We got one more episode of questions from subscribers. If you send your question over the past like 48 hours, it's not in there. So don't don't expect it. I ain't trying to sound rude or anything, but just setting your expectation. Um, but we got one more episode of NFL questions from subs. So that'll be later tonight, and then after that, tomorrow morning, we got one last video before the game, one last check-in before the game, um, and I, I got to talk to one of my boys about the Packers game, um, so that should be, that, that was a lot of fun, so I uh, hope y'all enjoy that one, and then of course, y'all know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow is the game at 425 uh, Lamar Jackson's still questionable, so they keep saying there's a chance he could play, and technically, there is, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, team, keep it clean. I love you, I appreciate you, and I thank you, because y'all are great. Um, thank you all for making this fun, as always. Thank you all for supporting. Shout out to all the patrons. Shout out to just everybody. Thank you. If you even follow on Twitter or Instagram, thank you. Um, if you just rock with the channel and that's it, thank you. Whatever you do, thank you. I appreciate it. For real. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I guess that's that. Uh, I've seen some people say, like, one of my guys, uh, he was like, man, I'm, I ain't, after that Chris Westry news came out, he was like, I, ain't, I probably ain't even going to watch the game tomorrow. Probably ain't even going to watch it. But again, I, I keep telling people, man, like, this is, this is the game. Whenever it's a game that's in this sort of status where Ravens are not supposed to have a shot in the world, Ravens are supposed to get dog walked, especially based off of the situation. Like, there's a lot of people that already thought Ravens were going to get dog walked even before the whole Lamar, Lamar went out. But Lamar... And again, he's not technically out yet. But mm. so if Lamar's out, Chris Westry out, no more, obviously, whole starting secondary out, and even a big piece of your backup secondary out. Um, just so much is stacked against the Ravens to where a lot of people think that this is going to be a bloodbath. But I just don't. Because this is what happens, man. This is. It, it, it's happened so many times, man. If it happens tomorrow, okay, whatever. But I just, I don't see it, man. I don't see it. I think right. Raven's going to show y'all some stuff tomorrow, man. And then you're going to wonder like, man, why weren't y'all doing stuff like that all year long? It's going to be one of the most frustrating things. Because this team is capable of so much more than what they've been putting out there. But hey. Tomorrow, let's get to nine and five and make this thing happen. Team, keep it clean. We out.